Ufish TV is brought to you by Shimano. Bar Crusher Boats, visit barcrusher.com.au and Robost Automotive and Marine Paints. Patience is a beautiful thing. I hope you all enjoy the show. Hey, my name's Chris Cleaver and this is my mate Bill Carianis and welcome to Ufish TV. Today we're going to try and show you something special and that's catching Jewfish on soft plastic. Let's go fishing. Most people use bait but today we're going to be using squidgies. Just using a nice balanced outfit, two and a half size reel. This is a Shimano Sustain. A nice two to five kilo rod with uh, eight pound braid and 14 pound leader and we're just going to go down along this rock wall here bounce plastics off the rock wall see how we go see if we can't get you a big jew fish let's do it The best technique I've found with these squidgies is just to do a double flick, let it sink back, not quite hit the bottom, get a, get a mental count of when it hits the bottom and cut it a second short. And then what you're doing is working that bottom third of the column, and that's usually where we find our jewfish, and just double flick all the way back to the boat and watch that line. If that line moves, strike up hard, and away you go.
what we're doing is we're just working the slope down the rock wall just giving it a nice double hop here letting it sink back and watching that line Doesn't feel like a dewy. It might be a flathead. Yeah. Dewy bycatch. Not what we're after, but very common when chasing dewfish. You can see he's absolutely nailed that squidgy fish. Not what we're after, but we'll just de-hook him. We'll pop him back. Very dark coloured one. It's from the top of the river. You can see very carnivorous. Good set of choppers and he can definitely get a big plastic down. So we'll pop this fella back and we'll keep chasing the G-fish. Oh, sorry. Here we are, right there you Got a hook up. I don't think it's a dewy. Feels like maybe another flathead. Hit me on the drop, so. Just chase him up. Most people will be happy with that for a feed, but I tend to find him a little bit of a pest. Especially when I'm dew fishing. He's not a bad specimen, but if you wanted to feed, see he's totally engulfed that squidgy. These fish are a very common bycatch dew fishing, but when these guys are active, it's usually a good sign that there's bait around. Usually the dew fish are on the bite as well. So hopefully, keep casting. See if we can get you one. Be mindful of when you guys are handling flatter, they have a really bad spine beyond the head. Can cause a bit of damage if you do get spiked, rub it on his belly. It's an old wives tale, but it seems to work. We'll pop him back in. Just put an S factor on it. Any advantage can help, even if it does mask the odors of uh, cigarettes or oil or anything else that you may come in contact with while you're out fishing. Certainly don't find it a repellent, put it this way. Oh, gee. Gee. Well, we only hooked one little dewy this morning and we dropped it so unfortunately you didn't get to see one but we're going to go to another system that's been producing some good fish lately see how we go there on that tide change This river's quite shallow, so it's only 15 foot here, but all the surrounding area is only two or three foot, so it's the only haven a dewy can sit. They come up into this river to feed, and they'll feed up on all the shallows, but when they come back out with the run out tide, they've got to pass through the hole. So we station on the hole and bring our plastics back through it, waiting for a dewfish to come through. Much like barra guys do up north. Barra will move through a system the same way. We fish very similar with the dewfish. Barra of the south.
well cast before I've uh, I've put it right up next to that pylon just right about where that train's going overhead now um, I got a bump struck came up with nothing uh, very next cast actually I put it pretty much in the exact same spot um, and sure enough I've, I've just done it oh no man most definitely <laughs> We'll keep at it and see how we go. We've been putting a lot of time in here, but we've got the belief that the fish are running out of the system now as the water drains out. Just gonna keep plugging away, keep throwing, and hopefully we intercept them fish as they come down. Just as Bill hooked one before. I mean, we'd been here for 20 minutes, half hour, and he's had two hits and two casts and hooked a fish, unfortunately. It's a nasty bit of rock on the bottom and I found it, but that's fishing. It's the way it goes, keep at it. See if we can't get another one. Hooked up here again. Just after Bill lost one. We've kept at it. Fucking away, like I said. We've hooked another one. He doesn't feel huge. But a Jewfish on plastic nonetheless. Unfortunately, that's fishing. And we've lost another one. That was a pulled hook, actually. He wasn't far from being at the boat. I don't think he was huge, but it's what happens. We'll keep at it again. Seems like the eight balls got on top of us today. Well, it's a beautiful day for fishing out here in Sydney, but uh, with the quality of fish that you get in this little system, it, it more than makes up for the uh, for this inclement weather that we've been having. Well, after a real long trying day, we've finally managed to put our fish in the boat. We've been, well, I've been blown away once, plus dropped another one. It, it has been a really hard day. Uh, generally, we get them around this side. We get quite a few of them around this size. It's just good to know that you can throw out a, a, a soft plastic and catch fish like this. Even though this is a small one, there's there's guys out there that, that spend a lifetime trying to catch these, these things. We've managed to put a bit of a pattern together over the last few years. Fishing the right times, fishing the right tides. Uh, a lot of the stuff you do hear about Mulloway, most of it's a myth. I mean, it's three o'clock in the afternoon here. You don't have to go out. You don't have to spend all night out in the boat, freezing whatever you want off. Yeah, they certainly are a, a, a magnificent fish to catch. Finally, finally, I'm just, just glad to put one in the boat for you, but that's how it's done. 100 mil fish, nice deep hole, the current's running out, but we know there's plenty of bait fish down there. And sure enough, you put a bit of time and a lot of patience today, but we managed to come up with a fish for you. paramount when you're dew fishing that you keep a very good eye on the line and keep in touch with what your plastic's doing and when it hits the bottom or when it's sinking back. Generally dew fish will take it on the drop back, especially up here. If you see that line move or a little tick or something out of the ordinary, it even stops before it should, strike and strike hard and quick. A dew fish can spit a bait out a lot quicker than an angler can strike. So what you want to is be right, right on the point when he hits it and then crack him. They've got hard mouths, you got to penetrate, you're usually using bigger hooks, so you've got to strike hard and fast. And once you've got the hook up, then take your time and play him out.
Alright, we've hooked up a nice new fish here. Doesn't feel overly huge, but a nice new fish. You gotta be patient with these fish, you don't want to rush them. He went for a nice little run at the start, now he's just lugging it out under the boat. Let the drag do the work. Let the rod cushion every head shape. And just play him out. He'll play up to the surface sooner or later. Parting me off stuff. I love these fish. There's nothing better. They are the ultimate estuary fish. And to catch one on a soft plastic is even more rewarding. We've got the leader. So I might get a look here. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful dookie. Lead his head, lead his head. Woohoo! Jewfish on soft plastic. Sydney style. We'll get it up for the camera and see, give you guys a look at home at what we love doing best. Look at that. Prime estuary Jewfish. There's no better fish to catch in an estuary system on a soft plastic than one of these. These are the ultimate goal. I put in so many hours to chase these, and every time I get one, the heart pumps. I tell you, there's nothing better. And look at that. Pinned in the top of the mouth with that squidgy there. He put up a good fight, just slugged it out under the boat, but very thick set fish. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, what we might do is we'll pop him on the brag mat. I'll get a quick picky with me, mate. And then uh, we'll let it go to fight another day, because these things are too valuable to go kill him. I love them, and I love to see them swim off even more. 99 centimetres of prime estuary dewfish. Just shy of a metre. I'm not going to stretch it. He's 99. That's the way it is. Just what I do is I always like to measure my fish just to get a gauge on weight. Instead of supporting the fish by the neck, which can damage them, I just lay them down on this brag mat. The brag mat's been invented by Dave Irvine, who sadly passed away not so long ago even though this brag mat's broken i still keep it he personally made it for me it was his prototype and many a jewfish is laid on this mat all right we'll pop her back in the water give her a swim let her go and watch the beast go off to harass some other lucky angler another day I'm just going to give him a swim when he gives a kick we'll give him a push down so he equalizes and um then we might get out of this rain and get a nice warm coffee because it's been a long day to get this fish, but nonetheless, we still got him. He's starting to kick a bit now. I'll give him a push in a sec. We'll watch him swim off to the depth. All right, I think he's ready. Estuary Jewfish, yoo-hoo-hoo! Beautiful, there's nothing better than watching a fish of that magnificence just swim away into the depths. They're absolute glorious fish. There's nothing more than I love than catching them on soft plastics and watching them swim off. Welcome to Sydney. Horrible, horrible place when it comes to the weather when Wingard's up here, that's for sure. What an awesome show that was. Fish with Chris Cleaver and Bill something or other. <laughs> Cleftianus, he called it. Well, anyway, there's another show. Carianus. Awesome, wasn't it? Carianus. A little bit. Carianus. There we go. A little bit like Cam Whittam in the Yarra, but Sydney style. This time we're using soft plastics. 
And if you didn't know, I was very quiet, wasn't I? I've been behind the camera all the show and uh, letting the boys do their thing. And uh, I, 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 un I appreciate the hard work that every cameraman ever does. To sit out here for a whole day and get totally drenched and sit under an umbrella and be quiet while such great things are happening around you is pretty amazing. If you want to know any anything else about the show, just log on to ufishtv.com.au and uh, if you want to know anything from the gear we use, the lures we use, or anything else about getting up here, check it out. Anyway, until next week, that's another UFish TV. See you then.